Well, hello everyone, and here with another Lego Ninjago movie set review, and this one is on the Flying Jelly Sub. So, on the front of the box here, you see Lego logo, Ninjago movie logo, and boat does not float, and recommended ages 8 through 14, set number is 70610, and it has 341 pieces. And on the back, see, <laughs> funny position. And all the features and, uh, and yeah. And also and what's kinda interesting is two booklets and they both go in different kind of fashions. So like first booklet in like hot dog style and the other one hamburger style. <laughs> Which I think kinda of, all this kind of funny, but yeah. And on the back of the first one is how to win on the online survey. And then file the steps for that. And then second one was after the Lego Land and whatnot. And the pieces that come with set. After Lego Worlds and after the Ninjago movie game. After all the sets that there are. After a couple ads for the website. And the last building steps. So, first off, for the mini things is J, the ninja lightning. Right, hold on a sec. And of course, this one's torso print, which looks just about superb for a ninja. And of course, the like new uh, mask piece, which is two pieces like so. And there he is from the back. And also, but also an interesting choice for a weapon like nunchuck with a blade for it, since although Jay kind of commonly wear has nunchucks. So yeah. And next is the Jago City uh, civilian uh, with the paddle piece, which will come with a boat in this. So he has a quite scary expression and some quite nice dorsal printing, which could work with like uh, uh, Ninja City and stuff. And also, on for this one is some slight back printing, but no double sided thing. And also, still using that like hair piece from the like, uh, collectible minifig series and whatnot. And, those, and the last couple ones is a shark army thug, but this one just really neat, like that. Like if you notice on that torso printing, it's supposed to represent the jellyfish tentacles, and also the like uh, head dome piece, which is actually the Sandy Cheeks's air dome piece from the old SpongeBob sets. But really cool that it's brought back to here and now has some like printing on the all over it and on the top of it probably to represent a jellyfish that there is and his choice of weapon which is a baby blue uh, fish with a like arrow piece on it which is kind of interesting and continuing to the back with like those tentacles and whatnot and then lastly for the main figs is a like shark gang thug or shark army member or whatever. And if it decides to focus what's going on? Okay. Sorry about that. You see the torso print just about kinda of typical for 
these sets and but also the headpiece which is very interesting that it you know it's a hammerhead shark compared to like regular sharks that throughout the line and the interesting thing is that some of it is all one piece but the uh, tanks are a separate piece kind of like the normal head sharks did and there's a good look at his face And also the like weapon, which just another fish piece, but with one of the like uh, spiky pieces for it. Yeah. Now on to the set itself, or well, the smallish part of the set is this little boat here. So it does have some good use of the like angler angling pieces along with the like large angling pieces and also a lot of jumper pieces holding the like uh, buckets and stuff and also sloping at the front and then this like black piece of which is quite in quite the best part of it like have the like flat tile pieces but go up all curved with good use of the like posing pieces, making it look pretty good. And on the top of it is a little smokestack or something, and also a little gold flag for don't know what it's for. And the car is also a line, probably for a master or whatever. And just about enough room to like stand a me thing onto it, like so. And that is about it for it. And now onto the main part of the set, the jelly sub itself. And this one quite interesting. Since you know there's barely much of like since they barely do much jellyfish style kind of things. Things in like oh. So like this lower part of it, which are all which we're gonna have a paint to build like the same thing over and over, but at least what kind of differentiates them on like three of them are the 34 marking sticker and connects and it does spin pretty well and underneath them are these like trans orange uh, chain pieces with yellow spikes in them if anyone knows what that is supposed to be tell so in the comments and also had the like uh, trans orange uh, flat tile pieces to be like extra parts of it. So it spins pretty good. And then we go up a, a little bit. It's, you got the like a couple more of those, but held on by little pistol pieces. And there are slightly poseable, and, and then as he. It does have a good use amount of symmetry, like from the back, or on these, this back side mostly, like two of these different turbines and the two, like, uh, canisters. And they are posable in some ways, but a lot of stickers around them. And also these, like, little things which are just mostly as the most asymmetricality, which do rotate well on some mixel ball joints, but like this one, which has two little dart things in it, and then the other one, which has mysteriously a couple of foot fire missiles, which like those sets barely ever use or don't really use anymore, because you know now there's like spring loaded launchers and whatnot. Maybe they wanted. If I were to guess, why they had to put that there is. Probably just so New Order fans can get a good gift of it. Although, instead of like leading off with foot fire missiles, but could it mean that they might be slightly returning? I don't know. But maybe, hopefully, they stick to with spring of lanterns and things. And then go on the inside of it, and it does open up pretty well. 
and you look inside it, you got some like a some good amount of space. You got the some sort of like uh, red black black eye and a uh, some sort of and of course a like clear mug piece which they which of course Lego kind of likes to throw in a lot and also uh, like sticker uh, panel piece with like some, you know, enough space to like fit a single mini thing into it like so. And does fit over pretty well. And also good standing. And, and so now let me get it all together for a final verdict. And so the overall verdict on this. Well, in of which a pretty good set. Well, for a Walmart exclusive, it does have plenty of neat, good stuff to it. Like get, a, like get a little Chinese style boat, and also a few good minifigs, and also an interesting build, like a, kind of a jellyfish style, which I don't think was made in Lego before, but it's always nice to see them accomplish some new things and. And if you if you spot this in your local Walmart or anywhere, then go ahead and get this. And if you can't stand being at Walmart, then go ahead and order it on Lego.com or at your Lego store or anything. And that's it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.